The other day I was writing my grocery list and my pen ran out of ink right at the beginning. I thought, how frustrating. So I went to Amazon to order some new pens. I thought, man, are there any pens out there with really long lasting ink? And I found one that said an inkless pen. So guess what came in the mail today? An inkless pen. And we're going to test this out. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw, we are looking at an inkless pen. I've never even heard of one of these. It sounds pretty sweet. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get right into this review. All right, let's open up our box to see what we get. All right, so there's our pen and it does look like it has a sleek design. I'm not sure what this is. Well, it looks like an extra tip, which is weird. Why would I need an extra tip if this is like a forever type of pen? All right, so let's open it up. Well, looks like our backing is just glued down there. All right, so it looks pretty interesting. When I was holding this, I thought, man, it's got a good weight to it. So let's see how much it actually weighs. You can see it's about eight tenths of an ounce, but you know what? Let's compare that to a regular pen. And here's a Pilot G2, and that's just a little less than half the weight of our inkless pen. I wanted to show you what this tip looked like before I started writing with it. It's sort of blunted a little bit. The directions do tell us it never needs sharpening, but this looks so interesting. Before I start writing with this, I do want to tell you a little bit of the features about this pen. It's made out of anodized aluminum, and they actually call this like a lead metal tip. And the biggest claim to fame is no sharpening. It's always sharp. And I guess as you're writing with it, it writes like a pencil, but there's no smudge. That's interesting. When I was looking for this, I was looking for a pen that had a lot of ink. And so it's listed as an inkless pen, but it's also listed as an everlasting pencil. I'm like, oh, okay. But here's the thing. As an everlasting pencil, evidently this is erasable. All right, here's the moment of truth. I'm going to finish my grocery list. Oh, I can tell you real first, that's interesting to write with. It does not feel like a pen at all, and it's actually coming up really light, at least a lot lighter than the pen. Can you see it, though? Let's try some other thing. That's very interesting. So it does write pretty neat. I mean, I feel like I'm putting a little pressure onto it, but you know what? It's pretty neat. All right, let's try just random markings. Wow, very strange. What's it doing to my tip? Anything? Well, it doesn't look like it's affecting the tip. Wow, very cool. It says erasable, but this end does not look like it's an eraser. So I'm going to get my own little eraser and see how I can erase my everlasting pencil or inkless pen. Here goes nothing. Is it erasing? Well, I'll be honest with you, keeping that eraser on the end of that pen or pencil is not easy. But look at that, it's actually coming up off the paper and I can see it on the eraser. Very cool. Not perfect, but definitely erasing. So tell me, what are your thoughts of this inkless pen or everlasting pencil? Something you would use, not so much? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I want to check the smudgeless test because that was important. Let's see. Any smudging? I don't believe so. So that means if you like to doodle or draw, this might be a good pencil for Since you. This is marketed to artists. I thought maybe it'd be interesting to draw something. Now I am not an artist. Don't claim to be, but let's see how I can do here. I'm going to draw a little bunny. Let's see. Let me get a bit of bushy tail right there, some hands, a belly. All right, maybe a smile, a nose. I do want to try some shading. Let's see. It's interesting. It's almost like you can shade things in too. You know, I, want, I do want to try. This is all seeming like it's the same color. I want to see, can I do like a gradual shade from dark to light? Well, there's our bunny. All right, let's see. If I do lighter, man, I don't know. I guess I can get darker. I guess the harder you push, you can do it darker, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. Let's try that again. All right. 
Not bad so far. All right, let's try something different than lined paper. Of course, this is just cardboard. I'm just gonna scribble first to see if I can see it. Yeah, I can see it. Now, what if I write something on there? Let's write a fraction. I do think the with a how strong or how hard I have to push down and pushing through the cardboard. So didn't do so well there, but you can see it. A couple more observations I have is it's important to note that the everlasting pencil or the inkless pen does not write like a pen. See this pen right here glides and flows and there's very little resistance. Whereas if I'm using the everlasting um, pencil, there is resistance, almost like writing with a pencil. So it's important to note that this is not smooth, although it writes fine. It's not that flow that you would think of when writing with a pen. I find a lot of benefit to this, and this is definitely something I'm gonna have on my desk as I tend to run out of ink a lot. My biggest con would be I don't actually like that it's erasable because if I'm gonna sign something, I wanna make sure that signature stands, or if I write something, sometimes I just wanna write in pen and it cannot be erased. And so to me, the erasable part is a con. But if you're an artist and you're looking to draw or have like a pencil maybe that does not need to go and sharpen so frequently, it's actually pretty decent. So to finish out this review, I actually had some other people test it out because I wanted to get someone else's opinion. And all I did was tell them that this is an inkless pen. And their first response was, ooh, I don't like it. It's got a weird texture. And then I explained, well, it's called an everlasting pencil. So it's more of a pencil and a pen. And as they kept going, you know what? The idea came, yeah, this does make sense. It does not flow like I mentioned before but sort of writes like a pencil. And the best description I heard was it's almost like a hybrid between a pen and a pencil. All in all, everyone thought it was a neat idea, but definitely geared more towards someone who wants a pencil than a pen. Just for fun, I wanna see what happens if you got your pencil wet or your everlasting pencil wet, will it write? And the answer in the water, no. Over here, yeah, it still does. So I like to do a fair amount of construction work and I typically have one of these type of pencils, but my problem is they're always difficult to either sharpen or they break or they run too short, just not available when I need them. Does my everlasting pencil work in this situation? Let's check it out. Here goes nothing. And nothing is what it is. This absolutely does not write on wood. In fact, all it did was score the wood or just put an indentation in the wood. So you know what? You better stick to paper with these things. In this video, we were looking at the inkless pen or everlasting pencil. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. The one that I purchased was right around $16. Except which a little more research on the internet and I found some as low as six bucks. I'm like, man, I should have shopped around. For all the different ones I found, I saw they're all made out of similar materials and therefore probably did the same thing. I did like that this one came in a variety of colors. Now, when I talk about a variety of colors, it's just the color of the pen. They all write in the exact same light grayish color, but they do have different pen color choices to choose from. I thought that it was kind of a neat idea, right? I was expecting more of a pen or an ink feel, but in my opinion, it's more of a pencil feel, like writing with a pencil, it's a little more gritty, um, but it did work, right? I like that you could erase it, and I like that it just doesn't seem to run out very fast. Now, I do think that it's gonna be a wearable piece, definitely because they sent me that spare one, but I've been writing with this a lot and it has not worn down very fast. I tried this on a variety of paper and for the paper parts, it worked really, really well, but other surfaces didn't work so much like wood, even cardboard didn't come out very well. So just so you know, this is geared more towards traditional paper. Anyway, in the end, I think it's a neat product, but this is something that interests you. I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. All right, so here's some regular post-it notes that I can write on, but let's check out our clear post-it notes. And just as we thought, you cannot write on them. This pencil or pen absolutely needs traditional paper to write on. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the inkless pen or everlasting pencil. And during this review, you saw that I tried it out on my clear post-it notes. Well, I actually reviewed those not that long ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe, I promise.